from Tech Fortress. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect uh, extra large graphic cards such as R9390, which is on the left, and the GTX 1070 8GB version. Both of these cards are 8GB version, and the problem is connecting these cards in the core is is not possible because of the size of the core and the restrictions which is which is having so yeah uh, this is the uh, latest gtx uh, 1070 which i got recently from the msi and it's the 8gb variant yeah the problem with the core is the space inside is not enough and this is the r9380 which is much more bulkier and it's impossible to actually put it inside the razor core so what I'll be doing is I'll be bypassing the magnetic sensor which is responsible to stop. Yeah, this is the tag. This was the 8GB version. So I'll be, uh, the code doesn't start without the exterior case or uh, the aluminium case being closed properly. So there's a sensor which uh, directs whether the case is uh, closed or not. What I'll be doing is I'll be bypassing that sensor. Yeah, these, as you can see the size difference between these cards. So let's go do that. I'll there's a magnet inside the aluminium case which I'll be removing and I'll be showing you how to bypass the whole thing. So let's go do that. This is the razor cores aluminium case. Uh as you can see there is a plastic uh holding which will be holding the magnet. I'll be using a screwdriver to remove it and I'll be skipping the whole removal part. This is the magnet which you get from the enclosure. Put it aside. I'll be giving all the connections required and I'll be showing you how it's how to bypass the circuit. The graphic card is connected to the razor core and uh, the power connection is given, but it doesn't start because the aluminium frame isn't uh, uh, closed. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be using the magnet which I previously removed from the case and I'll be using it to bypass the sensor. So this one you need to place it at the corner over there. That's the exact position where you need to keep and the razor, uh, the graphic card turns on and the razor or laptop also recognizes it. Now let me show you, uh, let me use the MSI software to uh, switch on the fans and confirm everything. Are you using MSI afterburner to switch on the fans and everything? Uh, the option over there will switch on the fan. Let me do a quick that. Yeah. Uh, once you click that, the fans are rotating, so the graphic card is working. You can use these uh, settings over here to overclock, overclock your graphic card uh, for playing uh, graphic intensive games. And by default, uh, the NVIDIA graphic card isn't actually selected as the default graphic driver for the uh, Razer, Razer Blade Stealth. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be changing settings. You need to go to NVIDIA control panel and then select the second option on the left, which is... Uh, advanced 3d settings and then change from intel to uh, nvidia and then save it that will do the trick and thanks for watching the video people this is Vamsi from tech fortress uh, do subscribe and like the video and i'll be uh, trying to tweak the wires so that i can uh, put the aluminium case for for my gtx graphic card thank you people goodbye